I'm not asking anybody to do anything. I'm simply telling them what the Word of God says. Because I can't judge them. Who am I to judge? I'm just as weak and frail as they are. But whoever told them that life was fair? Life is unfair from the beginning to end. That's why we look for a, a city whose builder is, is God. We're looking for a city where there's no more sickness, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more heartache. Life is not fair. Get over it. And realize that has nothing to do with the fact that you made a vow to God. At any cost, go back and restore that vow. Don't blame me. Don't blame the church. Don't blame somebody else for it. You're the one that stood before God and said, I received this person for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, so long as we both shall live. Now, let me just show you the, the horrible condition of our church today. Pastors are now telling couples, don't say till death. Then you can get out of it. I was stunned when I heard that. I thought, how stupid. The minute I say, I receive you as my wife, without all the other, that other stuff is there to tell people what marriage constitutes, what constitutes a marriage. As soon as I say, I receive you, and she says, I receive you, it's done. The covenant is there, and the covenant is for life. God established, he invented the marriage, he established the marriage, and he said it's for life. You didn't say it was for life, but you said it because he said it. And that's why God said in the book of Malachi, I hate divorce. I want a godly seed. I hate divorce. People say, yeah, but he can forgive. He won't forgive anything unless we repent of it.